Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, dear community members, this is just a quick uh, message to all the community, especially those who have their loved ones buried in our cemetery up here in Enfield. Um, just wanted to share a little bit with, uh, with everybody the other day, and I'm going to share that footage with you. As you can see, um, somebody was burning incense and they left it just like that. And the shrubbery and the grass in and around this cemetery caught fire. Um, that is a very dangerous thing because this cemetery is actually, we have, as you can see, there are condos and houses on this side and as well as on the other side as well, you can see there's a house right there. Um, and then as you look at the perimeter of this entire cemetery, there are a lot of pine trees. So this shrub fire or this bush fire could easily have become a disaster where these fires or these dry leaves and, and branches could have caught fire and become a nuisance for our neighbors up here. Um, there's a Sahih Hadith where Prophet Muhammad said, there are only three things that benefit those that have passed away. Burning incense um, is not one of them. Living cigarette butts here in this cemetery is not one of them. One of the best things that you can do, um, again, is that you could give in charity to whatever you want to do for those that you have loved and are here right now, you could donate that to charity and that will benefit them. And I'm not a scholar, but you can ask any scholar uh, in Islam from any madhab and they will tell you the same thing. Leaving flowers, leaving toys, stuffed animals, burning incense at the graves of your loved ones are not going to benefit them, guys. I know it's an emotional thing. Um, it's hard to understand. It's hard to comprehend. But please try to understand um, that is definitely not going to benefit them. On the other hand, if you take the same funds that you were going to use to buy incense or stuffed animals or flowers um, and then donate that to charity, uh, that is going to benefit them. So again, it is our personal appeal from the Muslim administration uh, to please abstain uh, from burning incense um, at the graves. As you can see from the footage, that fire could have spread um, and uh, I dread the day uh, where uh, that would have happened and caused significant damage uh, to our neighbors. Just imagine the headlines, guys. Just imagine the headlines. Muslim cemetery uh, causes fire and burns the neighbor's house down, right? Those are the kind of things that we want to avoid. Besides, it's not of zero benefit to anybody. So please, again, my personal request to everybody um, is to please abstain from burning incense at these graves. Do not leave trash. Join us when we ask for volunteers to help clean up this facility, help clean up these places so that we can come here and um, pray for our loved ones again in a peaceful, clean environment. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow. What's this? Uh, but this is starting to fire right here. Uh, someone, uh, someone smoke it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I never see it. I uh, put the dirt over there. Over that, that crop. What? Put the dirt over there. Why wow, it's spreading. Yeah, I know it's spreading. That's what I said. Look, it started here. And it was all black. Look, it's over there, too. Oh, where is the shovel? I call the fire department. Call the fire department? Huh? Well, or get some other people from up there to help us spread it. Army to call Annie's? I might call the fire department. You don't got paid. 